Baldwin held a bocce match during school on Thursday against Elizabeth Ford. Bocce basically is, there's a yellow ball called a palina, and you throw that, and that's basically where your playing area is, and basically you want to get as many balls as close as you can to that yellow palina. It's another way to just to provide inclusion. Uh, we, we look at any means possible, whether it's a sport, an activity, a social event, something that's happening within our school or community to try to provide these opportunities. Uh, this is just another way that we can show that, you know, through some adaptations, inclusion works. Elizabeth Ford, coach, talks about how bocce is more than just a sport to these athletes. So it is more to a sport because the friendships that they get to build on a daily basis are so rewarding both for the athlete as well as the partner because they wouldn't have those friendships unless they were a part of the class and the activity. Members of Baldwin's bocce team talk about how fun and important it, bocce is to them. Bocce is actually a pretty big part of my life. Um, it, it's great because it brings all the kids together, you know, all grade levels, all different types of kids, personalities, and it's fun. It's a fun game. How's that? Yeah, and it's fun, and I think it's a way of just um, promoting inclusion. I think it's very, it's very ability levels on our team, but mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that's what we strive for is to provide inclusion for anyone regardless of ability level. And Elizabeth Ford beat Baldwin and their next match is playoffs on Monday at Shaler.